Good day. In this short video, we're going to explain how to pin websites to your taskbar down here. This, uh, this exists in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. In fact, it probably exists in uh, the other operating systems as well, but I just haven't tested it, so let's get through and show you it. Now, you'd expect what you would do is simply right-click on the uh, address bar and select pin to taskbar or something like that, but nope, that's just not how it works. Or at very least, you could just drag the icon uh, down to the taskbar and drop it here, but you can't. Alternately, you'd think maybe you can right-click on the Chrome or Edge browser element on the taskbar and go up to pin, but if you do that, it just pins it in the list. There's just no way to do it from here. However, it's quite easy to do, so let's show you that. You click the ellipse in the top right hand corner, the three settings dots, you go down to more tools and select pin to taskbar. Let's just show you that. And uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call this, uh, to make it fast order. There it is, now the icon's there. How nice is that? So there's a couple things to know. Uh, the first is if you're in private browsing, it won't work. So let's go to uh, one of our other sites and say we wanted to pin this one or tools, you can see it's grayed out. So that's not going to work. The second thing to know is that you don't have to uh, just pin the root domain. You can actually drill into things. So for instance, say I wanted to pin this URL. I can do that quite easily. Uh, again, same thing, just go up to uh, over to more tools and pin to taskbar. Uh, there it is, it showed up. Now I don't want that one, I'm going to right click and unpin it. So this is a great way to get around corporate restrictions. Uh, in particular, if your company has set a default homepage for you, well, um, this will get around that because you're not going to a homepage, you're going to a specific page. So for instance, let's assume that you were working for a finance company and for some reason they decided to set your homepage to finance.yahoo.com and they've done that through group policy so you can't change it. Well, you can simply circumvent it by not using a homepage, by simply going to the page you've pinned that page could be Google. We'd really appreciate it if you click like if you found this video useful and subscribe for that matter because we do a lot of this type of stuff. If you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comment section below. We'll get back to you usually within a couple of days. You can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.